Okay, well, Tom not still lads, Brigid Shame is here, and, okay, like, um, I know a fuck ton of you guys have already seen these reaction videos, but I am actually going to be doing my reaction video, oh, sorry, I just said my mic, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I had no idea uh, that our planet actually makes sounds, but uh, from what I looked up, uh, these sounds are uh, actually uh, electromagnetic sounds, uh, which means that these are sounds that we cannot hear with our ears. So I am. So I'm not gonna watch this, uh, which is this famous video that pretty much everybody has seen and heard, but I've only heard this without my earbuds. So now I'm using earbuds. And, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. And now, first up, is the all and might fireball in the sky that gives us life. The sun. Let's see how this big fireball sounds. Okay, um, so do you know those, uh, massage chairs that, uh, like, um, uh, that, like, vibrate? That's what it sounds like. This legitimately sounds like a vibrating chair or something. Creepy, though, but awesome. Okay, <laughs> that is actually way more scary than uh, without these, because Mercury here actually sounds like, I'm trying, it sounds like a bunch of growling demons, like that's what it uh, legit sounds like, because it's like, <laughs> oh man, and no, it's not called Mercury, because it's, uh, it's made of Mercury, it's not made of Mercury, this planet is actually the closest to the sun, so because of that, it's really, really hot. And basically, if you were to stand on Mercury, you would pretty much have a chance of just melting and burning up alive. Uh, um, uh, okay, so uh, all these dots uh, that you see on Mercury, those are actually craters. So Mercury is actually uh, all covered in craters, uh, volcanoes, and it's just really, really hot. But it's not that hot compared to the next planet that's... Uh, on the list. Next up, Venus. So let's see what the hottest planet in the galaxy sounds like. Okay, this is this is easily explanatory. This actually sounds like an Australian didgeridoo horn. Uh, uh, I wish this one sounds like That's what this actually sounds like Alrighty, so the next planet that's on the list is the planet that we live on the only planet in the universe that has created life. And we live here. Earth is next. Let's see what our home sounds like. Okay, I actually don't know how to describe that, but it sounds like a bunch of hurricanes. Like, it actually sounds like a thousand 
or even like a million hurricanes uh, uh, that are just uh, uh, that are just wreaking havoc across the galaxy like all at once. Like it legitimately sounds like a thousand hurricanes or even a million hurricanes just uh, that's basically just going around the galaxy. So next up is the planet that will soon colonize Mars. All right, Mars. Let's see what you sound like, buddy. Okay, now I know you all are probably not going to agree with me uh, on this, but this is actually what the dungeons in Skyrim sound like, uh, as well as the dungeons in Elder Scrolls Online. Like, I played both of those games, and this actually sounds incredibly similar to it. Like, um, um, okay, so, um, okay, uh, everybody, uh, put your thinking caps on, because if you are to actually make a mod, that would replace every single sound of the dungeons in Skyrim. And if you, uh, god damn ads. So, so if you were to replace every single sound of dungeons and caves in Skyrim, this would be the perfect sound to replace it with, the sound of Mars. And yes, I know Mars isn't a cavey planet, but Mars, but actually, if any Martians are watching this, your planet is crazy, but pretty soon we will be up there and live in there. So y'all better be nice to us, cause otherwise, <laughs> I will basically wipe you from the face of Mars. But first, we actually need to meld about the ice that's on top of Mars, uh, and that's at the bottom of Mars, cause apparently Mars is, well, Mars is water. Which, which when I first heard that, I was like, wait a minute, there's no water on Mars. Turns out there is. So, yeah, anyway, I'll just shut up. And then up next is the famous gas giant. The biggest planet in the solar system. And that big red circle that you see that's uh, that's going around it is a hurricane. Now, up next is Jupiter. Jupiter, the famous gas giant. So let's see what you sound like, big guy. Okay, I was wrong about Mars, sounded like dungeons. This actually sounds like a big tomb, like this thing, uh, okay, so I don't know if y'all are going to agree me with this, but Jupiter here actually sounds like those big, massive caves, those underground caverns that you see throughout the world. That's what they actually sound like is Jupiter, but Saturn is pretty much going to be the one that gives me nightmares, like the instant I hear Saturn, I'm pretty much going to have nightmares, so, so, if you two end up having nightmares from hearing this, then don't come crying to me, uh, once you have nightmares from hearing Saturn, so anyway, this is Jupiter, the big guy, the, un the unit percent big boy of space, now next up, Saturn. <laughs> oh my god that actually sounds like demons like this is legitimately what the demons inside my head sound like oh my god Saturn you are terrifying like Saturn you are terrifying like you are absolutely terrifying so was it actually so does Saturn actually make that sound because I have no idea, because I just got big into astronomy from listening to this. But I have no idea if Saturn actually does make these sounds. But I'm actually going to let you guys uh, in the comments uh, tell me. 
does Saturn actually sound like this uh, uh, with infrasound or whatever? So this was the screaming demon Saturn. Definitely sounds like demons. S sounds like the demons in my head. <laughs> Uranus. So, so uh, to those who are not going to be offended by the joke, this is what Uranus is going to sound like. <laughs> uh, AJ, grow up, you, you golf shite. Oh, my God. So... Apparently, the, uh, the proper way to pronounce this planet's name is not Uranus, it's Uranus. And yes, it does sound like urinal, but but don't take that out of context. But as I actually learned from looking it up, a Uranus is actually a planet of water and ice. So if you were to go to that planet, you pretty much just do this. You would basically turn into a popsicle. So, so this is what the big icy gas giant sounds like. This actually sounds like Antarctica. Like, this legit sounds like Antarctica. The fuck? Ooh, Neptune sounds nice. So apparently Neptune is the same as Merc uh, they, uh, Uranus, I think. And it's also a gas giant. And also Saturn. But this one sounds nice. Now, the final planet that's uh, in this is actually the planet up there that's, uh, that's been sadly... <laughs> that's sadly been taken off the list! But it's not back on the list. Pluto, buddy! Pluto, you're back on the list, buddy. Because you were taken off the list in 2006 by that bastard Mike Brown. But now Pluto is back on the list, buddy. And this is what the lon and and this is what the once loneliest planet out there sounds like after Neptune. So, so Pluto, uh, let us hear you, buddy. Okay, Pluto honestly sounds like a... Okay, so I've actually heard another YouTuber say this, but Pluto actually sounds like something that would be used in a horror movie. Like, uh, like the sound that Pluto makes is actually perfectly accurate for a horror movie. So yeah, uh, then, but, uh, uh, but I guys, um, I guys actually have a... a uh, uh, a little bonus. And this one is Cybertron. Yeah, y'all thought a Cybertron wasn't real, but Cybertron, turns out, is pretty much real. Well, I mean, it is a fictional planet, but... Uh, um, so Grim 2 here, he actually took the sound from the very first generation of the Transformers and implemented it uh, into this. So... So this is what the home of the Transformers sounds like. Ads. Not sponsored. What the fuck?
This actually legitimately sounds like the planet's alive. This planet's actually Primus, by the way. That's creepy, actually. Like, that's legitimately creepy. Hello? Oh. Okay. Cybertron caught me off guard. Like, this planet that is... Uh, that's like billions and trillions of light years away, if it actually is real. This actually sounds like an old creepy horror game. Like, uh... Okay, so to me, this planet sounds like amnesia, but back in the 90s. Like, this legitimately sounds like 90s-style horror game. So anyway, it's not done there. Okay, this starts to give me a feeling that someone's right behind me. Or, or coming up from above, coming down from above, or whatever. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh God! What the hell? What the fuck? What the fuck? Cybertron, you are crazy. And you're... Guys, this is actually more terrifying than Saturn. Okay, okay, I thought Saturn was terrifying, but Cybertron here is definitely the scariest sounding planet out there. Like, uh, to those who agree, well, probably do agree with me that Cybertron is real, then totally let me know down in the comments, because I think Cybertron is real. But this guy has been me uh, reacting to the sound of these planets, so if you all enjoy this video, then do not forget to join us, smash the like button, drop a comment, and if you're new to my channel, wreck that subscribe button and also get that bing, a notification bell button on uh, so that you won't miss anything from me and videos just like this one. And I will see you all next time. Peace out, lads.